All right. I don't know if I did anything new there, but screw it. Here's the other thing I will hear from time to time, and you say, well, you've never fought anybody. Well, I've fought in street fights, but you're probably, I won't go into detail because, again, people will give me the bullshit. Well, I don't see it. Well, I'm sorry. I haven't been in a fight since I was 20. 45, so, yeah, there's not going to be a lot of, you know, recordings of those because, again, I didn't say, wait, can you stop for a second? I got to go find a VCR so I can record us getting in a street fight because you, I, Anyway, the thing is, is this is about the Jeet Kune Do thing and people saying, well, it's kind of useless. No, the way people teach it now is fucking useless. Because what they do, like what Jeff Poti used to do, I will teach you exactly the way I was taught. And that doesn't work. The whole point of Jeet Kune Do was to make it work for the person using it. I am not... 5'8", 130 pounds. So using a martial art made for Bruce Lee wouldn't work for me. He knew that. The first thing he said is, be like water, my friend. You are not robots. So the whole thing is supposed to be altered to fit the person using it. See, what people are bitching about and saying, well, the one doesn't work. No, no, no. What doesn't work is a system you've been given. And you say, well, Bruce Lee was never in competitions. A lot of people who were in competitions respect him, though. So, why's that? Perhaps he's good. Hmm. <sighs> Norris had no problem working with him, and he was in those competitions. Had tons of belts. And let's keep in mind, when he was doing this in the 60s and 70s, again, as Bill Wallace pointed out, you can't, you hit, yeah, if you knock somebody the fuck out, make sure he's okay, and then then words you the fucking point. <sighs> It's not the tip-tappy shit that's fucked up to martial arts. The reason most martial arts don't fucking work anymore is because they've been altered to fit competition. Competition was once king. And then the Gracie said, well, we're not going to win at this point shit. Let me show you how actual fighting would work. And so they made the ultimate comp fighting competition. And the whole thing, well, if they came back, judo players would not do well. Horse shit. Well, maybe they won't do it the whole point system because there's I'm not seeing enough action. Pick it up, bullshit. No, 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 no. One man wins, one man loses, or one woman wins, one woman loses. It's just <sighs> yes, the one inch punch can be useful, as can a fucking just straight jab. But again, so can a backhand. But again, the first thing I was and one of the many things I was taught. Uh, by Mr. Gavis was that a backhand is not in a, is not a out you know, not a power move. I'm not trying to knock your fucking face off with this. I'm trying to make you be set up for something else. Not a great sensor, but I can kind of do so. It's like a flint. When I do this bullshit. I'm not getting enough screen. Hold up. Because, yes, a hammer fist does have more power. But a hammer fist is a f fuck you up move. It's like jamming someone in the eyes. At no point am I expecting the fight to be over because I stuck you in the eyeballs. Anyway, let me get back to what I was saying. But basically, this is what a, this is what a back fist is, and then you're going to come either down, which I would then block, and then parry, block, parry, shot, back, block, parry, so whatever. like if I do poke, it's to get you. And like poke, bam, 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 bam. Poke. 
all in hopes of keeping you off balance. It's not a boom move. And there is the boom. Like backhand, that would probably do a lot of damage. Yes, I know you could go boom, boom, boom. But not every punch, like a jab. A jab is a central punch you can knock somebody out with when you can do the old one, two. I don't know if I would actually knock somebody out with his stuff. But... but the backhand is not a useless punch. It's just not a end of fight punch. It's not like the thought of the epicness of a nut kick. Oh look. on you, you guys see nothing you don't want to say. But again, looks like people are training Jeet Kune Do wrong because it's supposed to be <sighs> moves that work for you. If those are Ika Jitsu moves, use those. If they're Karate moves, use those. If they're Taekwondo moves, use those. Judo, Jiu Jitsu, uh... All I know is that, again, this is not an end move. It's like what the guy was telling about these low kicks to the knees. They're just to back you up a little bit, set up for something else. That's what a backhand is for. It's a quick boom, 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 bam. I hit this, I can hit this. I hit this, I can go here. I hit this, kidney shot. I hit this, whatever I want to do next. I hit this, boom, boom, wham, bam. I go to headlock. Boom, boom. Sleeper. Rear naked choke, whatever. It's all a setup. That's all that is. This is what a backhand is for. It's not power strike boom. And again, chop and rich hands can is full. Can you get more effort out of a back out of a fucking hammer fist? Of course you can, but that's what it's made for. And as for hitting well just the side of the head, that's gonna ding you a bit, but I can move my hand and hit you right here in the temple. So that chop to the temple is going to make your day not so nice. Or, if I'm going for the neck or wherever the fucking you move, well, I can come here. Right to the nice mandibula. Won't that be fun?